What's up, everybody? This is less of a review. It's mostly me talking about one of my favorite shows. And that show is Rescue Me. It's right next to The Shield and Nip Tuck. I'll talk more about Nick, Nip Tuck one day. If I have the time, do a season-by-season play-by-play. But I'm not going to do Nip Tuck. I'm, you know, but I'm going to do Rescue Me. And basically, for those of you who don't know what the show is or been curious and have decided not to watch it basically it's, it's a show about firemen and the way the, the things they have to deal with in their everyday lives outside of fighting fires and part of the backdrop of the series you know these guys being New York City firefighters part of the part of the story obviously has 9-11 involved as part of the series in which the, you know several of the main characters in this particular fire crew were involved in the rescue of 9/11, albeit they're a fictional crew, but they were, you know, in the, according to the story, they were part of 9/11, and basically the after effects of that, them dealing with everything that happened, and the main character Tommy Gavin, who's a firefighter, obviously is played by Dennis Leary. And for those of you who've never watched Dennis's uh, stand-up comedy or anything he's done, you're really missing out because this guy's really talented. I've always thought he was funny. I even bought the DVD with his two HBO comedy specials on it, and it's gold. And um, <clears throat> one of the things that interests me about the show is that it's one of the whenever they make a show about public safety workers, nine times out of ten it's going to be police officers. They never really did a series focused on firemen. And Third Watch doesn't count because Third Watch is not particularly about the peop about one group is about both but working a particular shift that'll be a whole nother video I'll do someday when I get the time I don't even remember half the third watch it's been so long and they haven't released all those seasons on DVD what's up with that NBC anyway <clears throat> all of the seasons except for the current season that's airing are on DVD I own the first season and I've seen all of them and I'm slowly catching up you know a week behind because I don't have cable, I'm watching it on Hulu. But uh, it's overall a good show. It's a, uh, it's one of those few shows where I can, it's one of those few shows where you really don't know what's going to happen next. It, it, it's so on the edge and it's so surprising. There's so many surprisings in the storyline. Characters that you think are going to be around end up not being around anymore. Characters that you think were going to be gone are still there. And pretty much every character on the show is li somewhat likable, and you want to see where they go next. And very few shows do that. You got most shows, cop shows, you know, they do like a crook of the week. You know, and because Rescue Me is a firefighter show, people, you know, probably assume that they're going to do like a big rescue at the end of every episode and, or whatever. It's not like that. There's, there have been some episodes where they didn't fight any fires. You know, and... You know, that's interesting in itself. It's a very character-driven show. There is an overall theme and plot, but, you know, basically the characters carry the story instead of the story being there, and the characters are there in spite of what the writers are trying to get across. Speaking of writers, Dennis Leary co-writes most of the series with Peter Tolan, and they worked together on a TV series called The Job, which was somewhat similar, except it was before 9-11, and... In that series, Dennis Leary played a New York City police detective. Part of the inspiration to have him make this series was after 9-11, he knew a lot of firefighters personally, and also that he lost a relative of his in a fire in his hometown in Massachusetts, and him dealing with that loss because he's very close to him. And sort of that he pretty much brings out into his character, and he said that a lot of the stuff in the show... He's brought out because of guys that he knew and guys he talked to and and whatnot, you know. And basically bringing real life stuff and uh, bringing, it, bringing it onto the show, giving those characters a real life feel. Another angle to the show that they introduced in the first series but they didn't elaborate on any more until recently was the fact that Tommy Gavin, he's haunted by ghosts of people that he either failed to save uh, people that were close, particularly close to him that passed away or people that he failed to rescue over the years as a firefighter. And it was revealed towards the second half of the first season that his father was able to do this also. His father, played by Charles Durning, 
whose character passed away in the fourth season, revealed that you know the same thing happened to him and happened to Tommy's grandfather and so forth. And most recently in the fifth season, Michael J. Fox's character uh, said, you know, sort of related to Tommy, you you think you're the only one that sees ghosts? And basically the ghost showed up when Tommy was an alcoholic, and that's another angle to the character. He was an alcoholic, which is going to be brought up back again because he's la relapsed. So all kinds of chaos is going to ensue in this fifth season. And as far as the fifth season goes, this is the longest season. This season is 22 episodes long. The prior seasons were only 13, but I'm really glad it's 22 episodes long because, you know, 13 doesn't feel like enough. You know, you can't get enough of this show. You have to rewatch them over and over and over again and wait until they come back on. And for the most part, anything other FX puts out, you know, seems like filler. And I'm going to do another video about the FX network and how much I like their shows and some of the shows that fell by the wayside or whatnot. But if you haven't checked out Rescue Me... Go online and look it up. You know, they got a lot of the episodes online. A lot of your computer heads, you know where to look. And, uh, you know, if you see it on DVD, I, I never tell people to buy stuff. But if you see it on DVD and you got the cash, spare cash, and, and this is a really good price, just go ahead and buy it and watch it. You know, I, I recommend you buy this shit because it's good. It's really good. It's the best thing on TV right now and that's all I got to say about Rescue Me so you know that's it it's a good ass show check it out hit me back with some messages and uh, I'll hit you up with another video peace